Hey there guys, it's Kate from Geek Talks. So, if you were paying attention to Marcus's last vlog, you would know that I'm starting a vlog myself. Hooray! I don't want to lose the This Week in Geek portion of the podcast. I already kind of cut it out. I'm going to try and put it into this here, you know? Okay, so hopefully you all appreciate it. I want to give you guys updates on life and what to expect from the future. Is that even possible? Expect the future. Ramifications, why? And just super cool nerdy things that I found. Yes. I will be talking about nerdy things that I find interesting. Other people probably won't find them interesting. That's okay. It's cool. A lot of the awesome things that I find are actually already all over YouTube. Maybe you've probably seen them. Like the mind-boggling ideas behind a super task. Cool animations of how our solar system moves through our galaxy, which moves through the universe. That's pretty cool. And Minecraft. Don't forget Minecraft. Minecraft's pretty cool too. Without further ado, it's time for This Week in Geek. I just realized I might have to change that name, but we'll see. Moving on, if you don't know already, dream of getting an astronaut to Mars and eventually colonize the Red Planet has been held onto by Elon Musk, or SpaceX and Tesla, and like a bunch of other futury cool things for a long time. But apparently, Boeing has decided that it will win the race to Mars. The CEO of Boeing, it's a very complicated name that I don't want to mispronounce, the first astronaut on Mars will arrive on a Boeing rocket. I didn't even know they made rockets, to be 100% honest. That's pretty cool. I guess it makes sense, too. I mean, you know, they're all kind of aerospace-y and stuff. Speaking of which, aerospace engineer, not official, technically, Marcus, whatever. I'm going to school to be an aerospace engineer. So, this is always super interesting to me. You guys probably already know that. Listen to the podcast if you didn't. Boeing is developing a rocket with NASA known as the Space Launch System. Sounds really kind of re pointless. I mean, Space Launch System. Woo! Space! And it's a space agency plans to use to go to Mars by the 2030s. Check out the animation they created. Pretty awesome, super interesting. Anyways, timelines on when all this is gonna happen hasn't exactly been very clear yet. Elon Musk says he wants to get people there by 2025, like on the surface of the planet, which is crazy. They recently had an explosion on the launch pad and now they're set back and they still have no idea what happened, but they plan on getting back to base by November. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Boeing hasn't been entirely clear on when they plan on getting there. Obviously the 2030s is the timeline they gave. That's later than when Musk says they're supposed to be there, so I don't know how they plan on winning the space race, technically. Boeing has said that they think Musk is either too ambitious or things will fall through and he won't get to land an astronaut on Mars by 2025. So for the case, I'll keep up on this, and guys, just keep watching these videos. Um, that's been This Week at Geek, and I'll see y'all later.